On April 6, 2023, President Joe Biden's Twitter account sent the following message. Trickle-down economics doesn't work. Trickle-down economics is a phrase often used negatively to ridicule those who believe in the efficacy of the free market system in regulating the economy. Interestingly, the term, trickle-down theory, was never coined by economists. Instead, it has two possible origins, both aimed at discrediting those who advocate for less government involvement in the economy. The term is somewhat ironic because those who claim that trickle-down economics doesn't work often appear to be zealous believers that higher taxes paid to the government will trickle down and benefit everyone. So, what exactly is trickle-down economics? The term was coined to ridicule the concept, and its definition emerged after its first use. According to Investopedia, trickle-down economics refers to the theory that tax breaks for corporations and the wealthy will eventually benefit everyone as the wealth trickles down. In other words, allowing individuals and companies to keep more of their earnings is seen as more beneficial to society than heavy taxation. Opponents of trickle-down economics often argue that wealth becomes concentrated in the hands of a few, remaining unused and stagnant, while many others lack access to it due to limited welfare programs. The notion of a fair share has become highly contentious in recent American politics. However, it lacks a precise meaning as a policy point and is often used to evoke emotional reactions aimed at granting the government more power to tax others, not oneself. In light of this, it is worth examining how the government manages the resources it currently controls. As of now, the federal government's debt stands at over $31 trillion, roughly 150% of the total U.S. gross domestic product in 2021. The debt limit has been reached, requiring congressional approval to raise it once again. The Republican-led House of Representatives has proposed a plan to raise the limit with restrictions to curb the debt spiral. However, the Democratic president refuses to meet with them and demands an unrestricted increase in the limit. Government spending is spiraling out of control, and even if everyone were taxed at 100% for a year, the debt would still remain in the trillions. This level of unsustainable debt renders any discussion of raising or expanding taxes to expand government doomed to fail in practice. Interestingly, Five out of the ten richest counties in America are suburbs of Washington, D.C., where the federal government is the largest employer. Furthermore, in the ten states with the lowest net federal funding per resident, individuals contribute more in taxes than they receive in return. It is evident that a significant portion of the money flowing into Washington stays within the confines of Washington. Turning to current redistribution proposals, two areas where the federal government has attempted to regulate for fairness and opportunity namely housing and student loans, have yielded poor results. Government-guaranteed student loans have provided more individuals with the opportunity to attend college, but this has led to increased demand and, coupled with the availability of unlimited loan funds, a dramatic surge in tuition prices. President Biden has proposed canceling $400 billion of current student loans, which would then shift the burden to the general taxpayer along with the existing $31 trillion of debt. Consequently, Borrowers who agreed to take and use the loans, and were expected to pay them back, would be absolved of their responsibility. Proponents of this policy argue that these borrowers can redirect the money they would have spent on loan repayments toward other aspects of the economy, such as purchasing homes. As discussions on economic policies and the role of government in redistribution continue, it is crucial to critically analyze the effectiveness of such proposals and consider the long-term implications they may have on the economy and society as a whole. Subscribe Libertarian Facts.